no dream is too big. You can make it if you just work hard, be patient and not give up. My name is Zabi Malik. I'm a filmmaker and I'm the winner for 2023 Australia for UNHCR Betty Scholarship. I'm from the Hazara community ethnic group who's been prosecuted for, for a long time. We flee Afghanistan because of the war and persecution. We moved to Pakistan in 2005. We were there for two years and then at the age of nine, I moved to Australia with my family. Look, honestly, acting was a dream from the age of nine years old. And I just never thought of it as a career. It was just a dream. Behind the camera is when I realized there's more to filmmaking than just acting. I made a short film, which I write. I starred in it. Message him, I want to see him tomorrow. It's about honor killing. And it's a topic at that time was very close to me. Even though it's not the greatest project that I've made, I'm really proud of it. My reaction to winning the scholarship, it was surreal. Honestly, I just didn't know how to feel. I was really happy because all my life I've wanted to do this. Now I get the opportunity to actually learn the whole craft and what better place to be than one of the best film school in Australia. Whilst growing up and especially wanting to become an actor or a filmmaker, I never had anyone from my community to look up to and use as an example. There's so much talent within our community. It's just that up until now, we haven't gotten that opportunity. I want the new generations of the Hazara girls and boys to use me as an example. If this guy from the mountains of Afghanistan can get to Australia and then become this filmmaker, so can I. I feel so grateful being here in Australia because I have learned how much our people in Afghanistan how much they lack the opportunity, especially with the recent incident that a lot of these girls and boys, they stop them from getting educated. So for me to be here and to do what I love to do and then through that, give back to the community and the people, it's the most privilege I can feel and I feel safe. I get to be in a school like AFTAR and learn the craft and I just hope that I can make stories and get our voices heard.